folks, today I'm excited to continue to explore AI tools that will help me create slides for my classroom. So today we're going to take a look at Diffit. Now I am reading The Lady or the Tiger, which is a freshman short story. And so I am putting in the title of the story and I could also paste in a article link. I could paste the text in directly or upload a PDF as well. And what I love about several of these AI tools is that I can change the language. So if I'm working with multilingual learners, I can adapt that information. I can also choose a fic fictional text as well. So let's generate some resources and see what Diffit comes up with. Diffit is really nice because it creates different graphic organizers. It uses very common literacy strategies. So there's so much that you can do with this. And here you can see that it is creating uh, an image that I can use or not use. It also creates a short adaptation of the passage. So if I'm working with different levels of students who have different needs, sometimes a summary can really help them to comprehend the text. Uh, and again, especially with multilingual learners, having that short summary is really, really key. So let's continue down here. And again, I can adjust the length. I can edit it myself so I can personalize it. Here's my summary, my bullet points. It gives me some great vocabulary words. If I'd like to add more, I could add my own words. I could pull more words from the text. So it gives you so much flexibility here. I, again, I can add questions as well for multiple choice. These are great reviews and it links to the Common Core Standards, which is fantastic. So I can either pick my state or stick with Common Core. And so I can generate as many questions as I want and I can target very specific goals that, that I might be working on in my classroom. The open-ended prompts are amazing as well. Uh, again, it just helps me to generate fresh ideas. It helps me to rethink or reframe some of the questions that I might have already used. And then from here, this is where the presentation piece comes in. You can generate activities. So I have some of my favorites are already selected there. I can select reading strategies, vocabulary. It gives me, it really targets that information. And many of these are handouts, but you can see there are some templates as well for slides. And so specifically here, we've got some slides here. I'm gonna load even more. It's just amazing how many different re resources you have here. So if I export this activity, it's going to take those questions and those prompts and the vocabulary words that we just generated, and it's gonna apply these graphic organizers. So let's hit export. It's important to note that this is a freemium resource. So some things are free, some things are paid. Uh, Diffit is really, really neat because it offers a lot of free trials. And so if you can plan ahead, you can really utilize and leverage this tool at a specific time during the year and not necessarily have to pay the premium. All right, as it's generating, it does take a few minutes to generate, but you're gonna see there's so many different resources that are available to it. One thing I love doing with Diffit is app smashing it with Pear Deck so that I make these slides that then become interactive where students can write text, they can draw on it, they can use um, draggables. And so using the best of this AI tool with a tool like Pear Deck is really, really powerful. So let's open it in Google Slides. So these are the slides that Diffit has produced and it's using all of those questions and those summaries and information that I just created on the Diffit main page. Now, here's how I would app smash and bring in Pear Deck. And so I'm gonna open my Pear Deck extension here. And then I can bring in and add draw slides. I can add text typing slides. There's so many different slides that I can pull through. And so I really like using the draw slide because it, it gives students the option to type or to draw or to write in different ways. So once I make this interactive, I have taken, I've taken the best from Diffit and I'm utilizing this new tool to make it interactive for all of my students on their Chromebooks. Now, I can customize, so I, if I wanted to paste in the exact text, I could paste in the exact te 
text as well. But it's so amazing, the reading strategies and the literacy focus that this tool really creates. Those graphic organizers are so invaluable because they can apply to any text. So no matter what subject area you're in, whether it's social science, English, science, even math, you can pull in that information. And especially in my math and science and my STEM areas, using the draw feature in Pear Deck then makes it really interactive and students can show their work and their process utilizing these resources. Here as I continue to scroll through here, uh, you can see that it's got multiple choice questions. I still like using the draw feature here because then students can circle and highlight and they can cross things out and so there's so much you can do with that. Those short answers here, you can use just the text. Uh, draggables are really great too. You can customize this once it's created. It's just such a great framework and an outline of a lesson. Again, there's so much that can be adapted and personalized and put in with your own flair, but using Diffit along with Pear Deck can be such a powerful resource and tool for you and your students.